Hi there. I'm here for my free hearing test. I booked an appointment. Kathleen Burton. I'm here at Hearing Life Canada for a free hearing test. More and more people are embracing hearing aids as part of a way to enhance their life. The Campaign for Better Hearing is a national campaign and it was created to raise awareness for hearing and hearing loss. Because hearing is something that I think you know, a lot of people take for granted and when you lose your hearing, it really does affect your, your overall quality of life and your everyday life and, the, and those around you as well, so your loved ones. And that's what the campaign is there for, to allow everyone to come in, get a baseline test and provide it free of charge so there's no fee to worry about. Very nice looking eardrum. And let's uh, have you go into the booth now and we'll test your hearing. Okay. The things that people will experience if they're starting to, to have some hearing loss, the number one thing is having trouble hearing in background noise. So if you do okay everywhere else, but when, when you're in groups or crowds, you tend to uh, miss parts of conversation or you say, you say pardon a lot. Another one that can happen is that you have to turn everything up a little bit. So the TV's up a little bit more than normal, um, the, the radio's up a little bit more than normal. So having to compensate by turning things up more than you used to. Every time you hear the beat, no matter how soft it is, I'm going to give you a button and all you do is click the button to tell me that you've heard the sound. And then the third one would be that you are asking for repetition a lot. So saying pardon, um, I, I didn't catch that. As we get older, we are going to lose some of our hearing. It's just a natural process of aging, but there are some things you can do to protect yourself. And the number one thing you can do is protect yourself from, from loud noise. So, and when I say loud noise, I don't just mean if you work in a noisy environment, I mean anything that is excessively loud, and you'd be surprised, like your hair dryer. If you have hobbies that are loud, so even cutting the grass, the lawnmower is too loud. If you like to go to concerts, if you like to go to sporting events. I mean, kids constantly seem to have earbuds in their ears now. And in fact, it's actually hearing loss is on the rise in, in young adults. So I do have some recommendations. And one is about the volume level. So really, 60% volume, so 60% of the max volume is, is should be the cutoff. And they also shouldn't listen for more than an hour or so at a time. You need a break. Your ears need to uh, relax. They need about a 15 minute break. So we live in a really noisy world, so the best thing you can do is protect yourself. Uh, the disposable earplugs are great. It requires actually a movement where you have to go across, pull the ear back and insert. If you're over the age of 18, in your adult life you should have a test done. But at age 60, because we know the numbers um, increase so much, really it's one in five Canadians have some form of hearing loss, but it, that increases to one in two when we focus on Canadians over age 60. So we just finished your test and I can tell you that you are hearing within normal limits. So at every pitch that we tested, and we do pitch, we do test a low, a mid and a high. If there is a problem identified, then we like to see you every one to two years to monitor. And of course, if, uh, if a significant hearing loss is identified, then we would uh, talk to you about treatment options and what's available to help you hear better at that time. That's the one Fun. that had the funky colors. Yeah. So they actually designed this model in particular um, they went in with the whole idea of like glasses so every color was really fun and really popped and very bright. The other part of the campaign is the Give Back program which I'm very very proud of and I'm very passionate about and that is donating four dollars for every test that we perform in the participating location so we're donating the funds we're not so it's we're donating it on your behalf and all you have to do is come in. I understand that as part of this program you were able to nominate someone um, who's a recipient um, and has received their hearing aids through through this program and the yes. campaign. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, he's a youngish man of about 41. Um, he uh, does a technical job where he has to be out in the environment. He has to be inside, outside. Um, he has to talk to the public as well as to coworkers, supervisors. And he had a, uh, a sudden I'll say somewhat sudden hearing loss. He was awarded some, some um, quality, I would say premium hearing aids, and uh, he's quite happy with them. We are, have helped you know, over 100 people, and actually just in this area alone, we've had 16 recipients in BC and four in Victoria. I'm proud of the fact that we're actually being, being able to give back to, uh, back to the public because they do an awful lot for us. They're light, 
It doesn't feel like it's anything different than before I had it put in. Through the campaign, we are we are trying to educate the public about you know the stigma, how things have changed so much with hearing aids, and that really isn't something to be ashamed of. It's one of our five senses, and it's so important. We communicate. That's how we interact, and that's how we connect with people in our lives. Test your ears at 60 years. Pass the test and pass it on. For Community Producers, I'm Kathleen Burton.